Renaissance was a period in history in which many things were invented and um, many huge things were discovered. And the art was one of them. Donatello was one of the artists that demonstrated the really simple things and almost no, no, no education you can do and create wonderful things. Uh, his full name is Donatello the Dimensio Diretto Bardi, or Donatello. He was born in Florence, Italy in 1386 and died in 1466. Uh, a very important Renaissance artist that concentrated in making sculptures. And some of his most famous works were the David, the Patient Magdalene, and the Santoria. Uh, his unique style. He developed several several uh, techniques in that in 2014 you can uh, dominate them with all the technology you have. Uh, he made he made his sculptures with a lot of perspective that made them look really realistic. And and we have parallel real expression of each of his artwork. That you, that when you see one of his sculptures you can see like if there were actual people. He also, with only a hammer and a chisel, he could create marvelous bits of art. He, he mainly used materials for bronze, marble, and wood for his more spectacular works. And his most fam famous artwork was one of the Davids. And for creating it, he only used a hammer, a chisel, and a giant block of marble. Uh, his famous artwork. Uh, the, the, with the first version of David, the, this this version was made from 1408 to 1409. It measures 191 centimeters and is found in the Museo Nacional de Bardi in Florence. And the David, the bronze version, is based on the story of uh, David and Goliath. And this picture you can see that uh, David is standing on top of Goliath. Uh, this version of the David is a, is a first piece of art that shows the, the human body as it looks um, after uh, thousands of years. Donatello was asked from the Medici family to build this one, the bronze version, to decorate the Palazzo de Medici. The Cantoria. Uh, it was built uh, from 1433 to 1438. It's made of, of marble. It dimensions it. Uh, dimension. Look, it's located in the Cathedral di Santa Maria del Fiore, Venice, in Italy. It is trying. This this art piece is trying to represent uh, the happiness of the people, but no matter. No matter what, they all had a hard life and suffered a lot in the time. Uh, this work is criticized a lot because it is not, uh, it, it does not have the same detail that many of his other artworks. And the patient Magdalene, um, it was built from 1453 to 1455. It's made in wood. It's amazing. Dimensions are uh, 188 uh, centimeters. It's located in the Museo del Opera in Vimo in Florence. It's based on a story of a, a prostitute before in Israel before Jesus was born. And then when, when she was really old, she met Jesus and learned a lot of his, of, of his teachings. So he changed and become a um, a really religious person and deposed all teachers of God. Its significance is maybe in significance in the Renaissance period that Matilda's work was very influential because it demonstrated the huge role religion has in people's life. That made most of you know that in the Renaissance religion was sort of put aside in people's life, but it Matilda demonstrated that each piece of art of his demonstrated a really big point in the upper region. The Renaissance worldview, Donatello contributed how art and human body can combine and get something magnificent. 
and uh, Tilo is one of the Renaissance artists that many, that many people can learn of his art only by watching it, and can learn from the reading only by watching his sculptures. And he demonstrated the Renaissance spirit, uh, how people with almost no technological advances and almost no education can do great things. So he demonstrated that with simple things like a hammer and a chisel, they can create things, huge statues, and a really, really great art with a lot of people. This is my. Thank you.